in terms of machine translation, the general limitations of GPT come in into play. That it's kind of like a general purpose model trained on the whole of the internet. It's not really specialized towards translation. For example, one funny title of a paper that I saw recently comes to mind, Chat GPT, Jack of all trades, master of none. So basically, GPT models are very good general purpose models, but for specific use cases, there's still a lot of value that can be added by fine-tuning them on specific data sets, like for machine translation. It's very difficult for a general purpose model to get to the point where it's able to do not only stuff like dialogue, like chat GPT, not only solve various tasks like sentiment analysis, classification, summarization, anything you can think of, and get a state-of-the-art performance on machine translation. It's very difficult to get there. Certainly, I'm quite optimistic that we're going to be able to get very, very good accuracy. But in my opinion, the accuracy specifically on machine translation will always be better off using a dedicated model. Also, because machine translation is a special case where quite often you want to specialize in a specific vocabulary for a narrow domain. You want to focus, for example, on biology only. You want to use specific terminology relevant to your company that you want to target. We're going to see a lot of interesting use cases of machine translation using ChatGPT or GPT or foundation language models, I'm sure. But it will be very difficult to match that with a dedicated large enough model specialized on your data. I will be skeptical if this happens. For example, I think DeepL or so will always be better than ChatGPT for the foreseeable future just because of the unique data sets that they're using for training.